Okay. Claudia says, how do you make it official without scaring him before going to bed? How do you make it official? Again, I just literally said that in the previous one. Purchase two copies of this book. <laughs> Folks, it's not about making it official. It's about figuring out if you're on the same page. Why is this so hard for you women? Why do you give your power away to men? Why do you give your power away to men? Folks, if you're not familiar with my relationship iceberg, and I know most of you are, look at this. The tip of the iceberg says chemistry, and above the waterline, it says attraction. And below the waterline, there's shared values, blendable lifestyles, and emotional maturity. And that says compatibility. Folks, you continually expect men to lead the dating process which basically means you're giving your power away to men. Are you not familiar with my seven ways women give their power away to men? Number one, the relationship is on his terms. Number two, you're afraid to speak your truth with him. Number three, when the relationship ends, it's all about him, 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 him. It's all about him, it's all about him, it's all about him, it's all about him. All about him. Look inward, it's about you. Number four, you're waiting for him to always initiate contact. It's always about him initiating contact. Folks, it's a two-lane street. Number five, you stop doing your pre-relationship life before him. You're feeling like you can't live without him. And then you feel like he's the only one I can ever have chemistry with. By the way, the average man and woman today has had at least, on average, if you're in midlife, if you're in midlife, which is after baby making years before retirement. So if you're 42 to 69, that's the audience I speak to. The average person has had five significant, um, five relationships of three months or longer, and they've had at least two to three significant relationships. So look at, you know, you, <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to go off on another tangent. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Folks, ladies in particular, Stop giving your power away to men. Be in charge of your relationship destiny. It is not a man's job to lead the dating process. It's a, it's a two-lane street. It's a co-creative process. And if you're not familiar with the book, Spiritual Partnership by Gary Zukoff, I highly recommend ordering this book so you can learn how to be more in a co-creative space along with the book I mentioned this before, If the Buddha Dated, If the Buddha Dated because this is going to generate better results for you than the old way of doing it. You mean the old way of Jonathan, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same things over and over and over and over and over and over again and expecting different results because ladies, magic fairy dust doesn't change a dysfunctional relationship. Only you can change your relationship destiny by being intentional, by loving on yourself and asking right up front, are we on the same page? Are we on the same page? So start asking those questions early on. Again, check out the link to a free discovery call with me to see if working with the coach is right for you. All right. Um, thank you, Claudia, for that question. I really appreciate it. All right. I'm going to scroll to the bottom now. What do we got here? Wow. We got lots of conversation going. Uh, Bear with me. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. If you have a question, post the word question, then write the question after there or purchase a super sticker, super chat. Catherine says, amen. Vivian gives me a thumbs up. Jane says, amen. Kitty Cat says, amen. None of your business gives me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. 